Hey everybody, Dr. Emily King here with another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to show you how to stop a bleeding toenail. I know that trimming dogs and cats' toenails can be very anxiety provoking. And then on top of it, if you cut it too short and you cause it to bleed, it can cause a real panic. Don't run around with your hair on fire. We're going to show you how to fix that problem. Let's get right to it. First thing, don't panic. Actually, if you did nothing, that bleeding toenail would actually stop bleeding on its own, typically within five to seven minutes. It's actually a rudimentary test that we use to show us whether or not a dog or cat has appropriate clotting factors. Second thing, you can use household items to stop the bleeding. One, like I mentioned, you can let the dog run around the backyard and eventually that, that toenail is gonna stop bleeding. Two, you can actually use flour. Three, cornstarch. Both of those, if applied to the cut toenail, will stop the bleeding. Lastly, if you do trim your pet's toenails quite frequently at home, it's probably a good idea to have one of two items in your house. Quick stop powder, or basically these are called nitrate applicators, which are a clotting stick, so you can apply it directly to the, um, the bleeding area. So either one of these items you can buy um, online or at the pet store. So for example, if I'm cutting Rowan's toenails, and I know her toenails are black, so I know that causes a lot of stress for a lot of people because you cannot see the quick where the blood vessel's coming down into the nail. And so you are guessing when you're trimming these nails, but that's okay. So if I, for example, trim Rowan's toenail and I cut it too short, because of the way I'm holding her foot, I'm gonna go ahead and apply pressure to the end of this digit with my thumb and my first finger. That'll slow down some of the bleeding. Again, remember, don't panic. Grab your gauze pad, dab it or paper towel, Kleenex, whatever you have at home. You can dab the end of the bleeding toenail all right, these products are gonna work better. The cornstarch, the flour, the stick, or the quick stop powder is gonna work better on a dry surface. So we dab it, we grab the stick, if we, this is what we have at our house. We're gonna dab the end of it and hold it down. That provides cautery to the open wound there. Hold it for about five seconds or so. Then we take our gauze pad again and dab it dry. Let go with our finger and our thumb and then we should see that no bleeding's happening from that area. If you're using flour, cornstarch, or the quick stop powder, you wanna take a small pinch of it, push it into the open quick, and then hold it down tight with your gauze pad, maybe for about 10 to 20 seconds. Then lift up with your finger and your thumb, and then you should be good. Again, remember, don't panic. If you use any of the methods that I mentioned, you're gonna be successful. Thanks everyone for watching this how-to video. If you liked it, give us a like below. We'll see you next time on the next how-to video.